and welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Today I have no idea what I'm going to try. I'm going to continue on with my mystery box from Heat from the Hammer. So let's find which sauce I'm going to do here. So this is my sample box that I've been dealing with. <clears throat> Get out the information. So I have two, four, six, seven sauces left for theirs to do. So I'm not even going to double check which ones I have. I can't see the labels of them, but uh, la, 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 la. let's go with this one here. So this is the Wildfire. So let's check out what Wildfire has in here. Heat from the Hammer is a great sauce out of Hamilton, Ontario. If you haven't seen any of my other uh, videos on them, check them out. Uh, playlists are either available or coming soon with the different companies that I've been trying. Let's see. So Wildfire, it's a kiwi jalapeno hot sauce. So it shouldn't be too hot, it should have a nice uh, unique uh, flavor. This unique sauce pairs kiwis and jalapenos providing a mild heat for those who prefer less insanity, or intensity, I should say. If it's not hot enough for you, then try the hotter wildfire version. Wait, is this one? Oh, this is wildfire. Sorry, that was mildfire. My mistake. Wildfire is on the other page. <clears throat> so this one is also a kiwi jalapeno. We took the kiwi jalapeno taste of our mildfire sauce and added green Thai chilies for extra heat. Great mild to medium flavor with a terrific taste. Uh, the Hagersville Tire Fire burned for 17 days in 1990, and as a result of the fire, new standards were put in place of disposal of tires. Okay, so that kind of, I guess, is where they got inspiration for Wildfire and Mildfire. There's their logo, not on this one, but on there for the big bottle is bunch of burning tires and I remember that tire fire uh, let's see what else do we have here so ingredients apple cider vinegar kiwi jalapeno peppers water bell peppers Thai peppers garlic and salt so yeah it literally the exact same as the mild fire just having the uh, Thai peppers added to it so ugh. Let's give this a little bit of an open. It's got a off greenish tinge to it. I cracked it. I cracked a seal. This didn't seal the cracking. <clears throat> so let's give this a so my guess is I'm going to smell jalapenos, maybe a little bit of kiwi, but probably more jalapeno. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm smelling. A touch of jalapeno? I don't think that's kiwi I'm smelling. Actually, it smells a lot like the vinegar. But we'll give this a shot. Well, maybe not a shot. Because that would be the whole thing. <laughs> we'll give this a taste test and see how it goes. It's got a, thick, a bit of a thicker consistency. So I'm not doing a lot. Just doing about a dime shape. <clears throat> or dime diameter kind of. Just for tasting right now. You're yeah, still not getting... Let's give this a shot. This is the Wildfire from Heat and the Hammer. Ooh, that's actually really good. Not very strong on the kiwi or the jalapeno taste. <clears throat> but it's a good blend. As I said, it's a mild sauce. It's actually got a really nice uh, flavor to it. You can distinctly taste each of the different things in it. Go for more of a quarter size this time. <clears throat> The jalapeno is definitely 
sticking a little bit more in the forefront on that one. But if you like jalapenos, and the taste of jalapenos, that's actually, it would be a good sauce for you. It's like there's no heat, at least not on my scale. Some people might be depending on how your heat level are. Taste wise though, <clears throat> I would have to give that a solid seven on taste. Seven on taste, zero on heat, uh, which is fine. You don't always want to have something burning in your mouth. Sometimes you just want a really good sauce. <clears throat> but yeah, it's definitely a sauce worth trying if you just like something mild. Um, you could probably put that. You could probably put that on a lot of stuff like like fish or something like that. It it almost reminds me of. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the company right now. Heartbeats, uh, Serrano dill kind of, not flavor wise, but in, in the texture and that, and like, uh, kind of similar to that. If you've tr tried or seen that one, I've used that as a salad dressing, uh, the odd time. And this is actually pretty, probably the same probably use that as a light salad dressing if you don't want to do something a little different <clears throat> almost like a vinaigrette in that uh, regards sorry for the coffee and still can't get rid of this this cold that I've had ever <laughs> and the bottle doesn't want to stay but yeah um it's pretty much it for that one again heat from the hammer wildfire great little sauce uh <clears throat> great for anybody really I don't foresee it being a problem for anyone out there, because um, the heat-wise, again, jalapenos, lower, one of the lower peppers, nothing too extravagant, unless you have a real adversity to heat, then that might be an issue, but for the general public, great sauce to either start with or just enjoy. But yeah, so enjoy the heat, stay spicy, I'll see you next time, who knows what I'll try, who might be joining me? Or who knows what's going to happen. Because I don't even know. I don't know until I decide to do this. I don't plan anything. It just happens. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see you next time. Take care and enjoy all the hot sauces you can. Because what else is there to enjoy? <clears throat> yeah. Definitely worth trying to get a sample pack. If you're not sure on their sauces.